If you're Belle Biv DeVoe and your Google alert for people talking about poison went off this week, don't get too excited. This is something else. British police believe a former Russian spy and his daughter were poisoned by a nerve agent. The pair were found unconscious in a public area in southern England. The government has concluded that it is highly likely that Russia was responsible. Prime Minister Theresa May giving Russia now an ultimatum. Provide answers by the Wednesday or Britain will consider this a direct attack. Well, then you should consider this a direct attack because you're not getting any answers from the Russians. Yeah, Russians don't give you answers. I once asked a Russian guy for the time the dude took a cyanide pill. <laughs> the irony? I didn't need the time. What I needed was a friend. <laughs> so, a former Russian spy living in England is out with his daughter. This is the story, right? They go to a pub, they go to pizza, they go to a pizza place, and then shortly afterwards, they are found poisoned. Yeah. And now everyone's like, it's the Russians. But how do they know it was Russia? Maybe he just ate British pizza. Maybe it's that bad. <laughs> well, it turns out there was one lead. British investigators have identified the poison as, quote, a military-grade nerve agent of a type developed by Russia. It's one of a group called Novichok, developed only by Russia in the 1970s. Used as a fine powder, it can apparently cause heart failure within a minute. In fact, it's been reported that the table where they sat was so heavily contaminated, it had to be removed and destroyed. Yo, that is some serious contamination. Do you know what it takes to get a pizza place to throw out furniture? <laughs> it can have an inch of gum underneath, a shaker of Parmesan that's been stuck to the table for 30 years. There's probably, like, a wobbly leg that's propped up by a rat carcass. But you know what? <laughs> that's what makes it authentic, man. <laughs> so, this Novichok uh, nerve agent is the real deal. And it's something that only Russia has. Uh, they wanted to make sure that everyone knew who was behind this. All right, they made sure. The only way this attack could have been more obviously Russian is if the people were crushed by giant Tetris blocks. <laughs> and here's, here's what's truly remarkable about this. In the normal rules of spying, when something like this happens, everyone denies everything. But Vladimir Putin is not playing by the normal rules. President Putin, BBC News. Uh, is Russia behind the poisoning of Sergei Skripal? <laughs> We're busy with agriculture here to create good conditions for people's lives. And you talk to me about some tragedies. First work out what actually happened there, and then we'll talk about it. Wait, he didn't even bother to deny it. <laughs> Nobody's so busy with agriculture that they can't answer a murder charge. <laughs> what was that? Did you kill him? Shh, I'm rotating my crops. <laughs> Like, I don't know about you, but since Trump got into power, I've noticed that Putin has become a lot more cocky about doing his thing. You know, he doesn't give a damn about poison in the UK. And when he sat down for an interview with Meghan Kelly this month, it felt like he did it just so that he could clown America on national TV. Why would you allow an attack like this on the United States? Why have you decided the Russian authorities, myself included, gave anybody permission to do this? Could have sent relevant information from France, from Germany, from Asia, from Russia. What does it have to do with us? So it wasn't the Russians. Okay, fine, Russians. But they're not government officials. So what if they're Russians? There are 146 million Russians. So what? Okay, fine, Russians. So what? Yeah, I make it up to America. I buy you pizza. I know a good place. Like, Putin is clearly on top of the world right now. And the more anyone tries to corner him, the more fun he has. If the 13 Russian nationals plus three Russian companies did, in fact, interfere in our elections, is that okay with you? <laughs> I don't care. I couldn't care less. Okay, how long has he been practicing that evil laugh? <laughs> <laughs> 